Right guys, once again, a massive welcome back from me and Gavin at Gavman Shore Rigs. So our last episode was on the north coast of Devon where we was trying for a bull huss and we kind of failed. But we gave you a little insight at the end of the video that our next trip is, you've guessed it, Scotland skate fishing. So um, stay tuned. We are bringing you on our next adventure and um, yeah, hopefully this time we'll, we'll have some better fish on camera for you. We should have something, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, this place is amazing. Look whether you can see over there, just over there, there's two deer. There they gone, Gav. There you go, look. Just about see them. Oh, yeah. Videos in this place really don't do the scenery any justice whatsoever. It's absolutely mint right here. So yeah, Scottish Highlands, common skate fishing, and whatever else comes along. And um, we've also got my son Harry with me, um, but he's uh, comatized in the back of the car because we've just done around 12 hours drive. But um, yeah, we'll keep it short, we'll keep it sweet, and we're, um, we'll bring you back in a little while, guys. Happy days. <laughs> Welcome back guys. So we've made it through the uh, monstrous mountains and miles and miles of locks and we found ourselves in a very sunny Scotland. We couldn't have asked for the weather to be any nicer. Absolutely beautiful. Um, now we've got ourselves a nice mark here. Uh, one of the most important things when you're going after these big skate 
is that the mark you choose to fish is somewhere that the fish is easily accessible to get out of the water. Um, so as you can see, this mark here, we've got a brilliant little opening here of shallow water. So if anyone needs to get into the water, we've got some waders and that can be done sensibly. And um, obviously looking after the, the skate. So the plan for today is three skate rods out, two scratching rods out, and no, sorry, four scratching rods we're going to have out effectively, and two skate, no, three skate rods, sorry. Three skate rigs, four scratching rods. Um, we've got bait wise, probably every type of fish available in the UK. We've got mackerel, herring, bluey, we've got squid, we've got octopus, we've got, um, what else have we got Gavin? Remind me, fit bait wise. We've got 10 different baits, so we've got mackerel, bluey, squid, octopus, herring, bluey, squid, octopus, sardine, herring, uh, what else we got there? We've got uh, sandals. We've got squid. Yeah. Uh, we've got octopus. We've got rag. We've got lug. Oh, honestly, guys, I've never been fishing with so much bait. It's ridiculous. Um, in all honesty, I think we're probably going to struggle to get through it. But better to have uh, more than enough than not enough, I guess. Um, so, yeah, nice comfy, Mark. Uh, <laughs> really long walk to the car, unfortunately. That's... Uh, bit of a pain but there you go um, so yeah we've been here now for probably 20 minutes half an hour uh, we've just got ourselves basically set up and um, as always we are uh, keep bringing you back to the page and updating you um, hopefully with this trip we will be able to actually get some more fish on footage for you um, so uh, I mean uh, uh, we'll bring you back and uh, we'll go through some of Gavin's skate rigs. You've probably seen some of them before in Reese's Fish Hunter um, episode where he and myself traveled up and Reese had that 193 pound skate. That's kind of why I'm back here really because I've still got a bit of a bone to pick with the place. Um, I haven't had my skate yet, so here we are, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, that blimmin' word again, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, we'll be able to get some on on camera, um, but yeah, we'll go through Gavin's rig again at some point and um, We'll keep you updated guys Welcome back guys right I'm just gonna run you through Gavin's rig that he's done here um, You've seen his dongle rig before which works absolutely brilliant for the form backs and the smaller rays so <laughs> You know what's coming didn't you what's to say? Why can't you just upscale it for the giant skate? So we have the giant dongle and a 10 0 circle hook up at the top. Same setup with the perfection knot um, and, and down to your, uh, your little clip. So exactly the same dongle rig, but upscaled for the bigger skate. I'm sure it will do the job. Look at them fluffy clouds, like big marshmallows hovering around, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>
guys. Right, so just had a nice run to be fair. Um, thought my luck was in, thought I was on to uh, what we came for. Well, we have got a ray, but it's not the target species. But even still, a sizable fallback ray. Lovely jubbly. And he's greedy. Dino! Greedy. Another thing, guys, just while I'm here, when you're fishing for these skate, that barb has been crushed flat. There is no barb on there. Do not use barbed hooks for the big skate. So, this is... Female? Female. Yep, female. We'll put her in there. Let her recover. Nice little pond for her. Well, happy days. At least we've got a fish on camera, guys. <laughs> Right guys, I brought you back. So she's now had a little rest and she's ready to go back into the depths. Um, it's always good if you've got some of these little rock pools, make use of them. They can rest up and get their, get them back to, uh, back to full health as such. So they've got a good chance of swimming straight off. Now, on the seabed here or the bed of the lock, a lot of the rock is going to look similar to what she's laying on now. So you can see how her camouflage works as well. She's taken on the patterns of her surroundings and you'll find this with a lot of rays. They generally colour up to the surroundings that they live in. So hopefully we'll be able to get her, see her swim off. Come on in lassie. Off you go. Go on. Back you go. There she goes. Beautiful. Only a little baby. Next time I'll bring you back, guys. Hopefully, we'll have the big common skate. Hey, Harry. That's what we're hoping for. Guys, if you could just comment in the uh, comment section. Um, Gavin's telling me that my bait is ridiculous. Well, I think, personally, that's quite a cool looking bait. It's, oh, uh, don't get me wrong, it's a cool looking bait. Yeah. It's got wings on it. And yeah, it's excellent. Tentacles. Looks very lifelike.
solid at the moment. All I'm doing is just keeping the power pressure on him. He ain't got you in them rocks, is he? <laughs> no, because he was diving. But are you filming now? Yeah. Okay. yeah. You're actually filming? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Uh, what's the time, Gav? It's like two in the morning, I think. Two? Uh, two yeah, two. So it's about two o'clock in the morning and I've just had a fantastic run. This is the species that we came for. Oh, he's going. I can get him. I'm going. I'm going to get... No. This is the species that we came for. Yeah, he's, he's letting go a bit. He's coming. You've got to keep this rod tip down. You can't have your rod tip too high. And, and work the rod. There you go. Oh, no, he wants to go again. He's up. Oh, shit. Shit. Do me a favour, Harry. Yeah. Are you getting this on film, Harry? Yeah. Oh. 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 Mate, they are so powerful. They are so strong. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. 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 Darkness is the key. Thank God, man, <laughs> Get in, guys! <laughs> Get in! I know I'm not, you know, we haven't got it yet, but even this is just exciting. It's a big fish, Luke. This is a big this fish, is a big fish and it's, it's difficult to know how to play it best. I don't want to have my drag on too tight and then he just snapped me. I don't want to have it too loose and then he just takes all of my line. But I have got a couple of things in my favour. So I've got a decent rod, Century T900, and I've got a Penn Spin Fisher 7.5. So, <laughs> I'll. Did I say to you, Gav, this is, if it wants to go big, this is the one that I want it on. Because I've got the spin fisher. That's it. Keep an eye on the others. You've still got four rods out there, that's it. No, five rods out. I don't know whether to... to wrap up on this other line. I don't know whether to tighten down on this drag a bit. You're going to need to muscle him at some point, mate. Yeah, but I just don't, I can't, I don't want to lose him. I ain't come this far to lose him. Can you see my leader at all yet? No, not yet, mate. He's not far away. He's not. I'm just trying to keep the light off. Oh, no. Okay, again. Okay. Yeah, keep the light off the water. Oh, I don't like the noise it makes. <laughs> Can you hear it? The noise that it puts through the line. Oh. You still taking line? God. <sighs> oh, my head. Right. Actually, do you know what? Not being funny enough, but I really need a drink of water. Harry, I'll take over the phone, mate. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I actually really do need a drink of water. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unfinished business hopefully will be finished with me in Scotland. We've still got 24 hours to go, mate. Oh. Mate, I'm done. The next skate is yours. If I get it in, the next one's yours. This is going to be a long drawn out battle, this one.
What a brilliant ledge to bring him on though down there. Hey Gav. Yeah, I'll be down there in a minute, hopefully. Right guys, what we'll do... We'll bring you back uh, in a minute. When... Uh, we'll bring Luke's you back in a bit, guys. It. Let me get myself a bit more comfortable. And uh, we'll bring you back. Welcome back, guys. Luke has <laughs> finally looked into the skate he's been after. This is a proper grudge match. <sighs> Oh, I, don't, I can't even, I'm, I'm speechless, I can't even, <laughs> honestly, the, the power is incredible, absolutely incredible, and y your emotions are all over the place because you don't want it to snap off, you don't want it to run, you don't want to have your drag too tight, too loose, do I pull it more? Oh. It was snowing a minute ago as well. Um, I've gained a decent bit of ground on him, he takes it back. I gain on him, he takes it back. <laughs> but uh, target species is, is on the way. Is this, uh, is this another one of your uh, big form backs? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mate, the lactic acid build up in my arms is just incredible. He's literally just, I cannot shift him. He's on the bottom. They probably, they wrap their wings down and around and anchor themselves to the bed. And he ain't letting go. So, uh, you just got to keep the pressure on him until he does let go, Luke. Like yeah. I say, this, this could be a long, drawn out battle, mate. And with anyone who's going to come and try this themselves up in Scotland, just make sure you don't lift that rod too high. Let the rod do all the work. Try and keep the rod down. Keep that pressure on. Hit them hard. <laughs> Hit them hard. Guys, next time you see me, I so hope I'm going to be standing next to it. Because look at down there, we've got a lovely area to bring him in. I'm going to have to go because I'm making some weird noises. <laughs> all right, so we're bad. We're We'll bring you back in a bit, guys. Uh, oh, he might still be fighting it. He might not. How long so has it we'll been bring now? You back. It's been about 30 minutes now, Luke. Is that it? Yeah. You've only <laughs> been going about 30 minutes. Oh. oh, my God. We're still at it, guys. Luke's been playing this fish for just under two hours now. We haven't even seen it. Every time Luke gains a bit of line... It just rips it back off the reel. It's proper giving him a workout. He looks absolutely shattered. <laughs> Please just let go. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's killed you, mate, isn't it? What is it, Luke? Hey? Come skate fishing, he says. It'd be fun, he says. Yeah, it's fine, but I haven't slept for, like, 36 hours. <laughs> and it'd be great if I was just turned out, but no, he kept me waiting so long. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh. Guys, honestly, this really ain't easy at all. I'm, I'm broken. I'm a broken man. Gav, you're going to have to come and hold this for me again. All right. We'll bring you back in a minute, guys. Finally. Fuck. It's only took ah. nearly, nearly four hours. Drag, drag, drag. Oh, drag. No, he's... no. Drag. No. No. Get this little beauty in. Look at it. Absolutely stunning fish. Now, the hard part of trying to get it landed. Sight we'll bring you back in a minute. Without a gaff. I'm not using gaffs. Oh my days. Am I absolutely shot 
It was evening. It was dark when I started to bring this one in. As you can see, it's the morning now. Four hours I've been, and Gavin. Obviously, couldn't have done it without Gavin. Um, actually, genuinely, couldn't have done it without Gavin. Um, so anyway, we've got her out quickly. Hook's been spat out lovely, nice and quick. We're going to do a very quick measure up, get a photo, and get her back in the water as quick as we can. So... So we got from nose. Oh, sorry, darling. I like that there, like that now. But nose, tail, two hundred and eleven centimeters long. Two hundred and eleven centimeters long. Wing to wing. I know, darling. We're going to get you back straight away. Oh. Wing to wing is 155. So 155. What did I say? 200 211. 211. Right, okay, guys. Um, Harry. <laughs> Harry was asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant guys, happy days. Target species achieved. Um, we'll bring you back when we're getting her in the waters, let her go. Give it a little bit of a breathing time. Yeah, let's get a toe out. Ah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, we spent enough time with each other. There you go. Oh, all right, all right. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Right. That's what you get for being nice, isn't it? Oh, look, she's just coughed up a load of crab. Excellent. Thank you, Harry. Aren't they absolutely magnificent? Um, what a fight. What do you reckon? Fire. What do you reckon weight was, huh, Gav? We'll figure that out later. We've got the measurement, so we could probably. Work no, what's out. your guesstimate? I think that's possibly two hundred pound. Yeah. Remember? It's got a good chance. Good chance. How's she getting on? Females are always going to be the larger with the common skate. Males are generally much smaller. Oh, there's a um, one of them horrible leech things on her tail. Let's get rid of that leech for her. Pull it off at the base. It's a sea leech. So basically, we're just going to leave her here for a little while. Let her let her rest up, get her breath back. I'm certainly going to need to get mine back. I cannot believe. Hold on. Four hours. Was it four hours? Four hours. What are you up to, dude? See, I wanted to know whether we caught one. Oh, you're getting a picture. <laughs> uh, well, video footage here. Right, she's ready to go. She's starting to make her headway off. And the water here is so clear. I'm hoping that we will uh, be able to get some nice footage of her swimming away. Well, 
where are you going, girl? You're meant to be going the other way. Go on, off into the deep. Off you go. Thank you very much for that. Beautiful. Morning guys, so we've uh, just packed up from our mark and uh, after that eventful evening, I think we're all well deserved a nice breakfast, what do you reckon guys? Oh. So uh, once we've had breakfast, we'll uh, update you with the next mark. How are we doing everyone? Right, so breakfast was uh, amazing <laughs> uh, that definitely refueled us after last night's epic epic catch I was absolutely totally I cannot tell you how exhausted I was after that my arms my back everything was just broken I I was a broken man, and Gavin wasn't far behind me, was you? To be uh, fair. Next bit, I think we're just the Barton boys. And uh, it's crazy, isn't it? Eh? Here we are, the oldies, and the youngest, Harry, 21, fighting fit, goes, "Yeah, I'm tired, Dad, and getting bed," and just left us to it. But anyway, that's the younger generation. Um. So yeah, so breakfast was yummy. Um, we went to, uh, we, we parked up, we, uh, we got a couple of hours or so kip, <laughs> it still wasn't enough sleep to be fair, and um, now we're doing our second mark, because we've still got to get one for Gavin, um, <clears throat> so as soon as we've got one for Gavin, that's it, packing up and get ourselves back home. Um, you never know, there is a chance that we could still hook into some other species here. Would be nice to get some spur dogs um, and uh, some other bits, you know, maybe some bull and rass, cuckoo rass. There's a very, very rare chance that we could get a cuckoo ray that's always on the cards, blackmouth dogfish. Uh, had a form back yesterday, as you see. What a beautiful form back that was as well. The, the colours were um, really quite striking. Uh, it got a bit lost on its way though because it didn't have any fawns on its back. Yes, that's another point you made there, Gabby. Yeah, there was no fawns. There was no fawns on it, only on its tail, which was quite odd. So, um, so anyhow, yeah, we're, we're at the last mark now. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some more fish on the video for you. And um, I'll probably briefly just run through the rig that we're using for the uh, um, for the skate. I know I've showed you the uh, the giant dongle rig, but the one that was caught last evening was on the classic up and over um, Gavman skate rig. So so yeah, I'm starting to dribble on a bit now, and uh, we shall. Uh, He's tired. I am very tired, very very tired. I've even said to the lads at the end of the day, I'm not really fishing at this mark. Um, I'm just here to help out. And uh, Gavin's using all my gear, uh, my rods and my reels and such, because it's more geared up for it. I'm going to bury my head down and get a bit of kip so that I'm fighting fit for the drive. Um, the, the way we're going, this mark that we're going to now, um, <clears throat> there's a nice grassy patch up the side of a sort of a cliff bank. So... I've put on my full winter gear, which is minus 20. I look like a juggernaut from, uh, uh, what's that computer game where you play with the juggernaut? Call of Duty. So I look like the juggernaut out of Call of Duty at the moment. And I'm just gonna bury myself up and get some sleep. Uh, and yeah, just help out if I'm needed. Um, so, anything else we need to update everyone with? Not really, I guess. It's probably going to turn into quite a long video, this one. So, um, I guess, guys, you may be watching a bit here and a bit there. So, right, I'll leave you with that.
So it's time for some more grub. Even brought along my own uh, specialist chef. Professional chef, me. Professional chef. <laughs> bacon and cheese sarnies. You can never go wrong with a bacon sarnie. So <clears throat> we are now at the second mark for the evening. And um, so yeah, you can see it's quite a nice, nice comfy mark. Got a nice flat ledge here and behind I've got a grassy bank that goes up beside the cliff so I'm gonna bury myself up there later and get some kip. I'll be like a I'll be like a little shroll just all cuddled up nice and warm. Um, Gavin's got two rods going out and we'll probably do some other bits and pieces. So um yes we will we will bring you back 